bench around 265 pounds and I weigh like 150 and I have a hard time doing these types of push-ups. I think it's a lot harder. Um, I can rep 235 like 10 times and still it's difficult to do these push-ups. So this is advanced beyond weightlifting I, I say. Alright, so my way of doing it, a lot of it to me is how you hold your hands. Alright? I think it's harder if you hold your hands like this when you do it. Alright, this is the traditional way that we do push-ups, just holding it like this, right? Just holding it like this. Like that. That's to me it's hard to do it that way. I find it a lot easier when I hold my hands at an angle like this, kind of my thumbs pointing up. So I have my, my hands like this when I do it. Not like this, but like this. It's just the positioning of the wrists that make a big difference for me. So I hold it like this and, and another thing that, that, that gives it me an advantage when I do it is that by holding my hands like this, I am able to keep my elbow in close. And when you're able to keep your elbow in close, it takes less, it takes less um, strength from your wrist to perform it. Now you have more support. So it's just basically like when, when, when break dancers do freezes, they use their elbows to support their body. And that's basically the same concept. If I'm holding my hands like this, now I have my elbows to support my body. If I hold it like this, now my elbows, my elbows are out and it's not supporting my body anymore. So if I hold it like this, now my elbows are closer in and now it supports my body. To me, that's the key to do this. Because if I do it like this, I can't do it. Because for one, it's, it's, it, 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 it um, has some type of uncomfortable tension on my wrists. And plus, like I said, I don't have that elbow support. So what I mean is when you start off, you're starting off with your hands back as far as they could go like here, and you're holding your hands to the side, like that. So it's just like this, all right? So you wanna have it close to your midsection, all right? And for me, it's, it's a lot easier to do it when, you're, when your feet are spread apart. If you put your feet close together, it's hard balance control. So I have my feet spread apart for a better balance. And then what I do is I either put my chest on the ground or I put my chin to the ground and then that, that distributes my weight going forward more so then I can push, so then I have balance to push my whole body up. So it, it, you kind of feel the way your body is being able to, to go forward a little bit and then you just kind of push up from there. So I'll try to demonstrate here. So I have my hands here like this. Alright, I start off like this. Now I'm gonna rock forward and then I'm gonna put my feet off the ground. So I'm gonna rock forward and then hold my feet off the ground. Like that. Okay, so do that. You rock forward. Alright, rock forward, hold your feet off the ground. And try to stiffen up your feet. Stiffen up your feet, your legs. Stiff up your feet, your legs. Stiff up your your stomach. Stiff up your entire lower body. Like try to make it still. All right. So again, so try to make it still. Stiff it up, and then now I'm gonna push up. All right, and then go down. Push up. Another thing. Breathe. Before you go down, take a deep breath in from the stomach, breathe in, and then when you push up, breathe out. When you go down again, breathe in, push up, breathe out. When you go down, breathe in, push up, breathe out. The breathing is hard to get, but that's something you want to get used to because if you are able to breathe while you do it, you'll be able to do a lot more reps. Okay? If you hold your breath throughout, you won't be able to do that much because you're holding your breath and you're going to need to breathe in again. So, I say try to breathe in through the, each repetition, then you'll be able to do more reps. 
I'm gonna try to do as many as I can while breathing. All right, so here, so I'm gonna breathe in. Before I go down, I'm gonna breathe in a deep breath. Breathe in. 